Hey, what's up guys, Eskizu here, and welcome to episode 41 of Skilling to Glory. In today's episode, I've got um, some Division Rival gameplay, I've got some SBCs, I've got some co-op gameplay as well, and also my Division Rivals and uh, Weekend League rewards from last Thursday. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys are looking forward to the episode. If you of course do, drop a like on the video, it would be massively appreciated. Subscribe as well if you haven't already and make sure to hit the notification bell for more videos. And check me out on Facebook where you can catch me live, fb.gg slash kazooie94. So the first thing we did in this episode was claim a couple of uh, objectives which we had completed, open a few packs. And you also were able to see that we um, actually sold on Memphis the Pie, which we actually bought in the previous episode. Uh, for I think 100k, sold him for 75k. And um, yeah, the reason why I decided to sell him was because of this specific SPC. We have the Moments Memphis Depay SPC, which actually got released last uh, Sunday. So um, yeah, I decided to obviously do this SPC. Got a lot of people tagging me as soon as EA actually um, released this SPC uh, in the game and posted it on Twitter. So um, yeah, decided to... Uh, Obviously, complete this one. A bunch of untradeable players I had in my club, including 89 Benzema, also the 87 Sancho, which I wasn't really sure thinking of maybe putting in, but decided to do it anyway because I don't really use him at this point anymore because we do have a bunch of other good substitutes. And um, yeah, Memphis obviously makes the starting lineup um, as a replacement of his uh, in form. So um, yeah, I was really looking forward to, uh, to see how he plays. Um, he seems to get like a special version each year. I think... Um, not, not last year, but I think in FIFA 19, um, he got himself a flashback, which was amazing as well. So, um, yeah, I was curious to see how that moments version of him played. Um, then in between, I decided to do some SPCs, as I mentioned in the intro. Uh, you can see me doing the uh, gold rare player pick, where you were able to choose out of three players. They were unfortunately untradeable, which I uh, didn't really know at the time. Um, I did manage to um, to get Timo Werner from the tradable one, which was also released like a couple days before this uh, video was recorded. So um, yeah, I was lucky with that one, but unfortunately not the luckiest with that with those. And then uh, you can see that we upgrade the team. We put Memphis in his position as well, applied a camp to center mid card, and that is a team right now. I think uh, we've done a very very good job in terms of uh, you know getting some good players in the team. Um, it's all uh, just a road to glory, basically. So, you know, uh, spending zero money on the game actually um, gives you uh, a sort of opportunity as well to, uh, to like, give you, like, a good team. Of course, you need to play quite a bit. Um, we're actually very close in, I think, 400 games. That's also what I, what I want to know from you guys. Let me know in the comments down below how many games you've roughly played. Um, I just said 400 games, but I think I've actually played close to 500 because obviously, um, Fat Friendlies doesn't count towards your record. And I, th I think I checked it the other day, and I think I'm like almost, or well, I think I'm well over 100 games actually. So I think I'm somewhere around the 500 mark. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments down below what your record is. And um, yeah, I'm just curious to see how many, how many games you guys have played. Because I remember from last year, um, I think I stopped playing Ultimate Team somewhere around this period, or maybe a little bit earlier. And then started playing again during April. But um, yeah, this year it seems that um, I feel anyway the gameplay is just, you know, it's not perfect, but I have more enjoyment this year. Uh, you can see that in almost every single game of, of Ultimate Team, anyway, of FIFA that you play, there are just a ton of goals, which um, is sometimes a bit frustrating. But um, I feel anyway it's, um, it's um, you know, more fun uh, in my eyes anyway. But um, yeah, you can see in this uh, in this episode as well that I decided to play some Rivals games. Uh, the reason why I decided to play some Rivals games, which I never usually do that much anymore, mainly because of FUD Champs, um, was because I want to secure rank 1, of course, uh, of my Division Rival rewards. Uh, unfortunately, I ended up losing that game 3-2, where we were 3-0 three, uh, three down, ended up going back to 3-2, but unfortunately, we weren't able to, uh, to get a draw. Then in between, I decided to do some more SPCs. We got the 82 rated plus player pick uh, where I decided to again put a lot of untradeables uh, in I think I had to buy one or two players and um, yeah, you can see in the background that we uh, opened that player pick and we actually did get a decent player Alex Telles uh, obviously doesn't really go in my starting team because we of course have that uh, untradeable Mendy but otherwise he definitely would have been a contender um, for this team but um, yeah, decided to, of course, storm in the club. Then we move on back into some more division rivals action. We're going against a nice squad here. Some uh, good reds in the inform Llorente 
and also inform uh, or the uh, red inform uh, Marcus Rashford and um, that is actually the player who started off getting the first chance and then it is Carrasco I think who uh, puts my opponent up there 1-0 so again also in this match uh, we started off uh, not the greatest and that is just something that I really noticed with this team uh, again I mentioned it in the previous episode as well I'm not too sure what it is but it just seems like I'm kind of playing worse with this team. Maybe it's as well that the opponents that you face now are kind of more prepared because they they obviously see a much better team than the one I usually uh, had. So they kind of <laughs> maybe go into that uh, sort of sweaty mode. But um, to be fair, we also play against very good teams. So I guess anyway that um, the opponent that we play against usually are just much better. And I, I said it in a previous episode as well that I feel anyway uh, division rivals this year is just... A lot tougher, and most of you guys actually agree with it as well. But um, yeah, in this game, uh, we got back to 2-1. to one. Then it's him again here with Ronaldo getting another goal. And this is, again, one of those situations where you just intercept the ball perfectly, but for whatever reason, your defender just runs over the ball or runs like in between the player and in the ball. That's one of the most annoying uh, animations which is in the game. So, yeah, um, after I don't know how many patches EA have already uh, put out there, it's, it's still not fixed, which is... A little bit annoying, a little bit annoying. But um, anyway, in this game, we got a goal back, a bit of an eighth goal. And then in the 64th minute, we got another bit of an eighth goal, I guess. Well, it's still a nice finish, but the way uh, we got the ball, a little bit of a mistake on his side. Um, yeah, we got ourselves back to 3-3, which was nice. And then in the, 40, uh, in the 74th minute, I just should have just taken a regular shot there with Neymar, but wanted to, uh, to pass it off, ended up drawing that game. And then to the next game we go, very nice looking team. In from Shao Felix, who, as you do know, uh, at this moment actually has a player of the month. <clears throat> and um, he's definitely a player I'm looking to get. Um, his inform has actually dropped as well, so I might even give that one a try. But I think with um, like Futmas coming up, with all the SBCs, and I guess anyway, all the packs being opened, um, the market will obviously, dropped, uh, obviously drop. I briefly uh, talked about it as well. In the previous episode where I said that, um, yeah, players like Neymar and stuff, Rashford have all been kind of dropping slowly. But um, I think anyway, I'm not an expert on trading, but um, I think this is this is just something that will happen throughout the whole month of December. And um, yeah, most likely in January as well. Just if you if you look at the graphics on, uh, if you look at like the statistics from last year, this time on Fodbin. Um, you can basically see that this year it's going to be the exact same thing. Which I thought anyway was not going to be the case because people obviously have a lot more coins um, at the start of Ultimate Team compared to last year. But um, it just seems that the paths are kind of, you know, the same again. So um, yeah, if you have those big players and you want my advice, again, I'm not an expert on trading, but um, yeah, I would, I would sell um, those really expensive players and just buy them back. Um, maybe at the end of the month or something, because then you will save a lot, a lot of coins. So, um, yeah, in between uh, of some Rivals games, I also decided to play some co-op games with a, a good friend of mine. And uh, the first team we came up against was a crazy team. I think that most of these players are baby icons. I'm not fully sure, but um, I think he had a total of seven icons. So, yeah, uh, a pretty uh, strong team to, to face against. And uh, we started off actually really nice with some great skills there from Neymar. Uh, the fake shot there being a very good skill, which I think is actually fixed or fixed is I think like made less OP in one of the one of the new patches that is uh, coming I think somewhere next week um, to the PS4 version and the Xbox One version. Um, also, in case you guys didn't know, um, if you're already playing the PS5 version of FIFA 21 and also the Xbox Series X version, so basically the next gen, that version is actually a couple patches behind. Um, you will see some gameplay, I think, from the maybe next episode onwards, some PS5 gameplay, so look uh, look out for that. But um, yeah, mid midway my FUD Champions from uh, last weekend, I actually decided to switch back to Gen 4, which is the PS4 version, um, mainly because of the matchmaking. It's uh, a little bit all over the place, and also the gameplay uh, hasn't really been the best. So... Um, yeah, that's uh, just something I wanted to put out there as well because I've seen a lot of people speculating um, that they weren't sure and that they were just assuming. But um, I actually got told by someone from EA that the PS5 version is like a couple patches behind. So yeah, if you're unsure whether or not um, you know the, the game is different, it is definitely different. Uh, I'm not sure if the new patch is also like coming to the next-gen consoles. That's just, just something that EA needs to confirm, I guess, on their Twitter anyway. 
But um, yeah, anyway, back to the gameplay. You can see in this game, we ended up drawing that game, unfortunately, the first co-op game. Um, a little bit of undeserved, a little bit of age as well towards the end with that um, with that goal we conceded. But we also scored a ridiculous goal, which you probably would have seen, where his goalkeeper did like a Superman animation uh, at a really weird time. <laughs> I don't know what's up with some of the animations this year with defenders, but also with goalkeepers. Uh, it just seems to be all over the place. But despite that, I'm still kind of enjoying uh, FIFA 21 uh, most of the time anyway. But um, yeah, anyway, in, in, in this next game we went to a game against, I think, a pretty nice looking team as well. And uh, we start out very nicely with Rashford. Great goal there, making it 2-0 there. And then a brilliant pass there from Paul Pogba. I know I think in the previous episode I mentioned that I was kind of like having problems with, uh, with through balls especially. But that ball was just on point, an amazing pass. Then my buddy scored, it, uh, scored a really nice goal there with, I think, Rashford as well, making it 3-0. And then in the next game, we went up against someone who I think did maybe the uh, Veron SPC or just did the base icon SPC and got Veron. And uh, we start off in the 10th minute there, a chance there with Memphis on his strong foot, getting a, uh, getting a nice finesse goal. Then in the 25th minute, my opponent gets himself a huge chance there with Martial. I think he should have waited a little bit, but um, yeah, good save there from Courtois. Then uh, we played out really nicely, like usually I would maybe like rush the pass, but uh, since I was actually playing with a buddy of mine, we obviously uh, took more time than I probably usually would do. And uh, yeah, we created some uh, some great uh, opportunities here, great goal as well. A little bit of a deflection of his uh, defender there, I think Gomez. But um, yeah, a nice counter-attack to make it 2-0. Then my opponent gets himself one back as well with I think Hungman Son making it 2-1. And then very early in the second half, it is actually Veron who puts himself back into the game as well, making it 2-2, so all level. Um, then in the 60th pen, you have a chance here with Neymar. Lovely sombrero flick to a lo little touch to a volley, hit the post. Then we do get the goal with Rashford, I think, but it ended up being offside. 65th minute, a brilliant through ball there from Mendy, who plays it out wide to uh, Memphis Depay. Lovely little direction on that back pass to the defender. Then we go for the McGeady spin, where we beat two defenders in a row, which looked really, really nicely. Like, even simple skill moves can just look really nice, especially if you uh, if you time them right and if you just beat your opponent in a, in a very cool way. So 3-2 up was the 90th minute. We had one more opportunity here with Neymar, where my buddy sent me away. I went with the Alternado skill move, trying to like beat, I think it's Ramos and also his goalkeeper, Pope. But you know Pope? Pope this year just seems to be the butlant of FIFA 17. He seems to be everywhere with his long legs, his long arms. He just he just grabbed that ball out of the air. And then from a counter, we ended up conceding the 3-3. So once again, we end up drawing a game, which was a bit annoying because um, I decided to actually play some co-op just to see if it was easier to get like rival points. But yeah, we ended up uh, drawing, I think, two games. And um, yeah, after that, I decided to play some, uh, some more rivals games myself to see how it would go. <clears throat> and um, yeah, in the background, you can see just some of the goals because I think I ended up playing maybe five to six game or something uh, in total, which is maybe a little bit too much to show uh, like all the, all the highlights of to you guys. But um, yeah, if you're interested in that kind of stuff, of course, then make sure to head on over to my Facebook page, fp.gg slash kazooie94. I pretty much stream there daily. Try like four to five times a week, um, most of the time anyway. So um, yeah, make sure to head on over if you're interested in that. Uh, then uh, we do get a pretty nice goal here with uh, with Neymar. Uh, lovely stuff from, I think, Atal on the right side. Good volley from him. And then uh, this final goal, you can see here, classic... Uh, AI block there from his Gomez, but then um, some lovely stuff here from Di Maria. We lay, wait a little bit, directional nutback, followed by a setup touch where we get a little bit lucky. But then uh, this looked also a little bit lucky, but it also looked very clean. Uh, two McGeady spins, Elastico in between two defenders, or maybe three. Then a good finish there from Memphis, again proving to be a very good player. And uh, you can see as well in the background that we're very, very close in promoting to Division 1. That is also something I really want to accomplish soon. But uh, more importantly, we did secure rank one in division two, meaning we at least got some decent rewards to show to you guys because uh, our FUD champs um, run wasn't uh, the best really, or at least wasn't the best. I didn't really put much effort into it uh, in all fairness. Um, so yeah, before I'm gonna be showing you guys the rewards, I've also got some more stuff to show you, some completed objectives, including the silver beasts one. 
uh, where you basically had to play some games uh, on squad battles, which I know is very boring, but decided to do it anyway, just because uh, you got some decent packs from it. I think some 75 uh, plus packs, which aren't necessarily the best, but as the group reward, you got a rare mega pack, which is nice. And you also got a small gold prime players pack, which is decent. Uh, we're also very close in reaching level 15, meaning uh, we're able to uh, obtain the first season player, which I want to know from you guys as well, which player you're going with. Um, you have that Colombian Tello who looks very, very nice. You can link him, of course, to uh, Quadrado um, for the five-star skills. Uh, good Serie A midfielder. And this year, there are barely any good uh, Serie A midfielders. Uh, so he's a very good shout. We also have Ido, I think, from Celta de Vigo. Maybe a little bit tricky to link up with, but he looks insane with that 90 uh, physical. And also that Korean, um, Korean player from the Bundesliga from Freiburg, I think. So let me know in the comments down below which player you're either going to do or have already unlocked if you already have. So then in the background, you can see my uh, Weekend League rewards, um, as you would have seen in the previous episode. We only played eight games, ended up getting uh, a record of 6-2, to two, meaning we got, I think, Silver 3. So, um, yeah, we were kind of uh, limited in terms of what we were able to get, unfortunately, with um, with our Reds. Uh, I think we got that in from, from Olympique Lyon. And then with our Division Rival Rewards, I actually decided to go with Coins this time instead of Packs. Um, because I was actually sort of saving up some Coins um, for a specific player I had in mind to buy. Which was either going to be Road to the Final Quincy Promes or the Rule Breaker Di Maria. Um, I really wanted to sort of invest in Promes because I noticed that his price was actually like uh, climbing up really quickly. I think at one point it went from 190k to like 260. So yeah, I was just uh, kind of waiting um, to uh, to drop a little bit more, but he just ends up going uh, like he just ends up rising basically more and more. So um, yeah, it was I wasn't sure whether or not to buy him, but uh, obviously you can see in the background that we don't have enough coins yet to buy him. But um, what I decided to do instead as well is I do one of those uh, <laughs> for champs upgrade SPCs um, and uh, we got Carrasco, which is decent. He's he's usable, I guess, anyway. Obviously, I was hoping to maybe get like the likes of San Maximan. I think you also get Rashford or maybe Gomez. So um, yeah, I decided to do that once again. And um, yeah, I got Carrasco, as I said. In my eyes, he deserves five-star skills. Uh, but um, yeah, unfortunately, this year still has four stars. But you know, we can use them as a super sub. And then in the background, you can see some more packs being opened, which I'm not sure from which SPC this was. This might have been our marquee matchups. I'm not fully sure. It could have been. Uh, I did mention as well in the previous episode that I'm almost like guaranteed a walkout every single time. Now, I did these on the web app. And um, I got absolute trash in terms of the packs. <laughs> a bunch of players that which we can use for an SPC. But um, no walkout this time around, which is a shame. But um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below as well, guys. As I said before, which like storyline player you guys are going to go with. Because um, I asked the chat actually when I actually picked mine, which you will see I think in the next episode, uh, for some advice. And um, yeah, some, some people actually gave me some good advice. So as always, if you guys want to tune in as well, and uh, maybe help with uh, some of the stuff. For Skill to Glory, then uh, let me know as well in the comments. And make sure to head on over to my Facebook page, which is fb.gg slash kazooie94. Anyway, guys, that is where we are ending off today's episode. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you, of course, did, drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell as well for more videos. And uh, that's the end. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.